Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be installing the Flannel CNI. CNI stands for Container Networking Interface. And the Flannel Container Networking Interface is a popular plugin used with Kubernetes to provide network connectivity between pods across different nodes. So you have a pod on one node that can successfully communicate with the pod on the other node uh, using the, the CNI overlay. And it is an overlay, so it takes the packet and it attaches a header so that the, um, the, the packet can find that other pod, which is on a different node. And so we use the combination of a bridge network, uh, which allows us to bridge our local network or create a bridge. And then uh, we're able to uh, pass that off, uh, for the lack of a better word, to Flannel to handle the communication inside of the, the worker node or, or on, the, on the worker node. And then it gets to the pod. On your kind clusters, I, I realized that it does come with a CNI, so this is not necessarily required part of uh, installation and setup here, but it is a good way to learn more about container networking. So let's go over to our terminal. And uh, I just uh, changed directory into the uh, temp directory into a directory called kind-configs. I would recommend you do the same because we're going to be creating a lot of configs, uh, meaning uh, the configs that we pass to the kind CLI to create different types of clusters. And uh, if you notice from uh, getting your kind cluster up and running, it downloaded an image in order to use for that container. And uh, you can see those images by just typing in Docker images. And you see I have quite a few, but the ones that we're focused on here are the kindest ones, <laughs> the kindest. And so um, we can either pre-pull these images like uh, by just Docker pull and then kindest node v1.30.0, or we can let uh, kind the kind CLI do that. Uh, so it just depends on how fast you want your cluster to spin up. All right, let's clear the screen. And uh, for this config, we're going to name it no CNI config.yaml. And we're just going to label this a uh, kind of cluster API version kind.x-kates.io slash v1 alpha 4. And then networking, we're going to disable default CNI. Like I said, kind comes with the CNI. It's a weave CNI, but we're going to disable that. We're going to create our cluster, but we're going to disable the CNI. So let's save and quit. And now we can create our cluster and pass in this config. So kind create cluster. Uh, we can optionally put the image in, or you can leave it off if you want to lose the, use the latest. Config no dash CNI config .yaml. And then I'm just going to name this something different because we can't create two clusters with the same name. If you created a cluster without specifying a name, it just creates a cluster named kind. So I'm going to name this flannel. And see, because I pre-pulled that image, uh, the uh, node image part of this goes a little bit faster. All right. So now I'm going to docker exec it flannel control plane bash because the name of the container changed because I named the kind cluster flannel. So once we have a shell to the control plane, we can do apt update and apt install wget because we're going to download the bridge CNI plugin. So we will wget, and then I will include this link below, but copy and paste the URL that is the bridge CNI plugin. So the bridge CNI plugin is a network bridge for container networking. Uh, so it's managing the local host networking. So uh, the, the local network, uh, not including uh, from node to node, and then the, the CNI managed the inter-host networking. So the uh, traffic from node to, node to node, like I mentioned before. All right, now that we have that in our uh, local directory here, 
uh, CNI plugins, Linux, AMD64, blah, blah, blah. And this will be the same for you because again, we're uh, getting it, we're, we're on a shell to the control plane. So it has the same operating system. Uh, we're going to extract that. So tar XVF uh, and then CNI plugins. So that'll extract that into our uh, current folder. And then we'll just take the bridge folder from that. And then we'll copy it to opt CNI bin so that we can use it with the CNI. And so let's clear our screen here. And if we just run the k get nodes command, and you notice I didn't set my alias on this cluster uh, because they're each uh, separate. So let's do a alias k equals kubectl, k get nodes. Uh, so you see the status is not ready. That indicates that the CNI is not installed. So let's go ahead and install it. And this we can do with the kubectl apply command. So k apply dash f, and then I'm going to get the file name, which is uh, located at this uh, URL. And again, I'll, I'll include this in the uh, description below. So now if I do k get nodes, I'll see it may take a while, but I'll keep doing the kubectl get nodes command. And I should see this turn from not ready to ready in the status column. There we go. Uh, it took about, I don't know, 30 seconds for me. So maybe, you know, for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, maybe. And then if we also want to check out, let's clear the screen. If we also, also want to check out the uh, pods, so okay, get pods in all namespaces uh, with the dash capital A, we could see in the cube flannel namespace, we now have a cube flannel pod, which is providing that CNI. With that, we have successfully installed Flannel CNI as opposed to the Weave CNI that's included with Kind. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.